Go ahead and hit record. I'm good now. <laughs> All right, awesome. Welcome everybody to the Summer Sizzle How To. We start officially tomorrow. So we wanted to just bring y'all together and make sure that there, everything was clear. There were no questions. Everybody was good to go as we move forward into the summer months. Uh, I know that some of you are listening to this after the fact because you work and um, you couldn't be on this call. Just know that we're going to be doing these calls each week. Um, Aaron's going to get a little bit into that a little bit later, but we will record each of them and they will be sent to you so that you have this information. Um, but we're just thrilled that all of you there ended up being, and you all have until tomorrow, end of day tomorrow to sign up. So some of you who are listening after the fact who haven't um, jumped into the summer sizzle yet, you do have until tomorrow night um, to join us and you won't have missed anything. But we're just super grateful to those of you who jumped in and said yes, because we know summers can be kind of crazy. We're all over the place. I'm in Portland, uh, Oregon right now, house sitting for um, some friends of ours. So we know that there's a lot of travel and here and there and all over the place. We've had graduations, we've had um, moving moving family members we've had um what else have we had baby showers in the last week so we know your stories are just like our stories things are crazy so to have something for us to just stay plugged into as much as we can through the summer is awesome all right before we get into all of the details i want to welcome and introduce mckay okay now we were debating mccann your how you say your last name too because i've always said bark dull but then Ann said she thought she heard on something. Maybe Nan said she thought she heard on something that was bark dual. Is it dual or dull? Should we take a vote? Which one is it? <laughs> Which one is it? <laughs> this is it's, the thing that always makes me nervous when I'm introducing you. I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna screw up their name. It's I'm it's bark dull. 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 Like dull. dull is in my personality. Uh, like you're super dull. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're introducing McKay Barkdahl, who is not dull at all, and Casey Howden. <laughs> Did I say that right, Casey? Okay, good. Um, and they are here to help. They are part of corporate, um, helping support Western region people like you. If you've if you've talked to one of these awesome gentlemen before, would you raise your hand? I see one, two, three. Okay, a handful, and then I and some of you don't have your screens on, so I don't know if you're raising your hands. Um, but I'm going to turn it over to them for just a couple of minutes. They've joined us. They're super excited about what we're doing here, and they have a little bit they want to share. All right, go ahead. I don't know who's who's sharing. McKay? I can kick it off. Thanks, Andre. I appreciate it. Um, hey, guys. Uh, welcome. I'm excited to uh, be here. And I know that I've heard um, Andre and Angela talk about the Summer Sizzle a lot, and so this is exciting to be on this call to kick it off with you guys. Um, they share, I'm not going to like steal the thunder on the qualifications and how to, and the how to's and everything, but they did give us a sneak peek on everything and when, what it looks like. And it's awesome. Like we, these are the things that people are doing to grow their business right now. Um, something that's really cool that I wanted to share with you guys. And, um, is just like kind of like a cool boost of confidence and some really great things that we've seen momentum wise in young living is that like the amount of rank advancements that we've seen this year so far has been amazing. So like star senior stars, executives, the amount that we hit for those last year, we've already hit that this year and we're just at the end of May. So like you guys have done an amazing job and the people that are working that are getting those rank advancements are doing the things that, um, that Andrea and, and Angela, and, and I know there's probably so many of you who puts, who put this together, but the things that they've have laid out for you to, to work on and to do to earn points, like those are the things that are working that is moving the needle for people's businesses. So like we're seeing a lot of momentum, a lot of growth and it's awesome. And me and Casey are excited to work with you guys even more. I know that I've worked with a handful of you um, and uh, yeah, it's going to be amazing. So for those of you who haven't worked with us, we, we work with leaders to help them strategize rank advance and just provide an additional support from the corporate side um, to help you in your business growth. Like we want to partner with you. We have a lot of great things we can we can help with um, as you guys are looking to continue to push forward with your business. So please utilize us. Um, yeah, we love to help. I want to give Casey a chance to introduce himself because um, I our region's kind of shifted a little bit with relatively and well in the in the more recent uh, what is the word I'm thinking of very recently. Um, 
Um, anyway, but I want to give himself a chance to introduce himself, talk a little bit about who he is. Um, some of you probably had the opportunity to work with him, but just in case, uh, I'm going to have Casey give himself an introduction. Thanks, McKay. <clears throat> um, thank you for having us here. Uh, I can definitely tell you that McKay is not dull <laughs> in personality. <laughs> Uh, he may be the dole in name, but he is not dole in personality, which is why, which is why he's so fun to work with, and why we we all get a, along so well here. I love I love our team. So for those of you that don't know me, I'm Casey. I'm senior sales manager here. I've been at Young Living for nine years. Um, I love it here. I don't I don't want to be anywhere else. I I've worked everywhere from leadership to diamond support to to here on this team for seven years. And I can honestly say, I, I, me and McKay, we have the best jobs here at Young Living because we get to work with you. We get to hang out with you. We get to see you. We get to do everything we can to help you grow. And when that's your job every day, it's pretty amazing. You get to come here and you get to see people grow and you get to see people succeed. So I wanted to tell you <clears throat> that is our ultimate goal, helping y'all win. And that's what we love. That's what we want to see. And this program uh is there to do that and for those that will do it uh you're gonna see good things right now i'm super convinced that the the people that are seeing the most success are the ones that are doing the little things and i'll tell you a quick story here in a second but i've been here i've been here for nine years um i have four kids they're crazy my youngest is a monster so if anybody has parenting advice on monsters Please let me know. Would love it. Um, and fun fact, I've been a distributor before for another company. So uh, me and McKay both come from backgrounds of understanding where you're at, understanding what this life is like. And I, I'll never forget going to my first vendor event and sitting behind the table and just hoping no one would talk to me because I was scared to death. Anybody here felt that before, right? Like, People, you're they're walking to your table and you're like, please don't talk to me, please don't talk to me. And then, then they walk by and you're just like, no, that's why I'm here. Or, or the other one is when you, uh, they write their name down so you can contact them later. And then you're looking at your follow up list and you're too scared to call them. Uh, I was guilty of both of those things, but I learned, I learned very quickly. Um, if I was in your shoes, what I would do different, what I would focus on. And it makes me cringe a little bit to think about the things that I miss on. Um, but we are grateful for this. We are grateful for these opportunities and, and, and challenges and programs like this. If you'll do it, it it'll work. And you'll, you're going to see yourself grow. And, but growth isn't always huge, right? Growth is, in, in my mind, success in this business is doing a lot of little things well. So one quick story before I turn it back over. I love baseball. Anybody here love baseball? If you don't, I'm taking away loyalty points. So I hope everybody raises their hand. All right. Okay. Now I see some more hands. Um, I took my son to a professional baseball game, which was so cool. My son loves baseball. And uh, we showed up before the game because we wanted to watch batting practice. Well, we get there. And what are the players doing before the game? They're taking batting practice. They're stretching. They're playing catch. They're taking ground balls. Right? So... The first thing my son said was, because he hates getting to his games early. That's like his biggest pet peeve. But we get there, and the first thing he says is, Dad, the, these guys are doing the same things I do before my game. And I was like, yeah, buddy. They, they are. So, so what does that mean? What does that mean to you? And he's like, I guess the things that I'm doing are pretty important. I was like, exactly. These little things. So that guy right there, Mike Trout, who's going to make – $50 million this season. He's doing what you do. So what does that mean about what you do? These little things that sometimes bug you, these little things that drive you nuts, what does it mean? And he's like, well, they're important. This is exactly. People that succeed don't stop doing little things. They don't stop doing fundamental things, even when they're hard, even when they're annoying. Like, I guarantee you, he thinks to himself regularly, I'm the best baseball player on the planet. I don't probably need to do this today but he doesn't do that they don't do that successful elite people don't think that way they think i'm going to do these little things because they're important and i'm never going to stop doing it. so i love i love what y'all are doing 
because it is really dialing down to those little things that matter and bring actual growth, right? What you want to do with your time, you want to actually do things that help you grow. And I promise I've looked at the qualifications, looked at what you're going to be doing. If you'll do it, I promise you'll see good things. And so I just want to encourage everybody, be doers rather than hearers. If you're here, do the things, and I promise you won't regret doing the little things. Because if you do them long enough, you're going to see wins. You're going to see yourself grow, just kind of like my son with the baseball, that realization that how how key those little things are. And if I do them, they work. So um, I'm so grateful to be here. Me and McKay, we, we love y'all. We really do. Like this is our passion is helping. Um, and we look forward to the opportunity to, to, to talk to y'all and to be able to have moments where we just strategize and talk and talk through things and whatever we can be for you. That's what we want to be. So we're here to help. We're here to support. And we absolutely love what's happening right now. And we are here as your cheerleaders cheering you on. So thank you. Thank you so much for having us here. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Um, a couple things before YouTube pop off, because I know that you have lots of things, other things to be doing today. Um, but one is that they're going to be providing us with some Young Living products, guys. And so we're going to have a challenge each week. So this is kind of separate. And we'll get into like, what are the DMOs? Um, what, what, how do we earn points? All of that stuff. We'll kind of break all of that down in a moment here. But a little fun separate thing that we threw in a little bit last minute is that we're going to have a weekly challenge. And it's not a competition between us. Like, it's not like you're not competing against another person. You're competing against yourself. And if you meet the challenge for the week, you're going to go into a drawing and Young Living is going to be providing us with three prizes each week. And so at the end of the week, out of the people who have completed that challenge, we'll do a little drawing. Three people are going to uh, win for that week. And I said, it's each week is a new week. So if you, if you do the challenge every week, you have just as much chance of winning the next week as you do the previous week. We're not going to say like, oh, Shannon won last week. So let's make sure we don't choose her this week. If you won last week, your name goes in and you could win 10, you know, eight times in a row. I think there's eight weeks that we're giving something away. So um, I'm excited about this. It's a different challenge each week. And so we'll actually, let's introduce the first one right now, okay, before you guys hop off. So um, McKay told us yesterday that he's going to give us three bottles of Valor for this week, okay? So three of you are going to end up with a Valor at the end of this week. Here's your challenge. You just have to do the DMO five days this week. You do your DMO five days this week and write all your you know specifics down which we'll get to in a moment here and then you're going to comment on the post that we're going to put in the brand partner group we'll, we'll have a graphic post each week with like the challenge of the week you just find that post you comment on it that you did it and then we'll announce three winners um, on next friday's call all right and then we'll present a new challenge so that's how that goes and then the other thing i wanted to say is that mckay and casey are joining forces with us so um nan Angela and myself, as well as McKay and Casey, are going to be offering a 30-minute strategy session to each of you. So I'm actually going to throw this right now for you into the comments for those of you that want to grab this now. But this is a form that you're going to need to fill out. I would encourage you, if you're on the call, the 20, 20 of you who are on the call, grab this form right now. Um, and you're going to just choose which time slot works the best for you. And then we'll work with you to figure out which week of these eight weeks and which 30 minutes during your time slot is going to be best for, for both people. And then you'll hop on Zoom together and they'll help look at your organization. If you're brand new, they're just going to help you with beginning steps strategizing. If you have, you know, a larger organization, um, then we'll help you look at building your team to the next level. So that's that. Make sure you fill out that Google form as soon as you can so that um, we can get you placed with one of the five people who are going to be helping with that. Um, All right. Brianna, can you clarify Friday to Friday? So like from now until. Yes. So, so it'll start. So this starts now. Okay. Five BMO starts now. So Friday through Thursday night, because Friday morning we'll be, you know, doing our, our winter stuff, yeah. have that for the call. So you have until Thursday night to get your, your days done. And, and It'll and, be yeah. week, whatever the challenge is, it's till Thursday night because we'll be looking Friday morning right before we hop on the call. Yeah. 
All right. So that is that. Um, yeah. Okay. Casey, thank you so much for being on with us. We look forward to getting to work with you more this summer. Have a great day. Hey, thank you. Thank you All so right. much, you guys. Um, yeah. Today, you said today's the last day to sign up, right, Andrea, for the sizzle? Tomorrow. So we, tomorrow. we're doing the end of the first day. So tomorrow's okay. the first day. People have until the end of the day tomorrow to okay. sign up. Yeah. yeah, let them know. If you guys have brand partners in your team who haven't signed up yet, let them know. We've also been reaching out too. Um, but there's big time prizes coming. Like we're going to offer some pretty cool stuff. We're so know. glad that we have this partnership with Young Living. Thank you for saying yes. We know we're aligned with what, um, you know, with what you guys are looking for. And we're just grateful that you're um, pouring into us like you always have. Um, but just especially this summer sizzle, it just really helps enrich the experience for everyone. So thank you guys. Thank you. Y'all are great. Thank you. All right. So I already went out of order because Aaron, you were supposed to be second. So let's turn it over to you because not only are we doing the weekly prizes, but let's talk about uh, the retreat a little yeah. bit. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull up. Yeah. So you can, uh, those of you who are big visionaries and like to just put the, put the, the dream, the vision on your, on your calendar already. Um, September 26th to the 29th. This is going to be our first um, Carlsbad retreat that's uh, three nights day. So we're going to do three nights this time. Um, and so, yeah, that, that's going to be the um, kind of the grand, the grand celebration. Uh, we did this um, in, in January, had, had a great group come out. And so we're going to do this again um, in September. Um, you may be some of the first people to meet um, little baby Graham, uh, who will probably be, be around a month old by then. So uh, we'll see if, if Sarah allows me to wander, wander about <laughs> to the back house uh, with the little guy. So um, anyway, this is something to look forward to. So put this on your vision board, right? Because we're just locking in um, and focusing on, on um, helping people. At the end of the day, right, we're focusing on helping people and also um, earning points uh, day to day, week to week, right, so that we can um, come out here and have a celebration together. And and, and with the three days, we're going to have additional fun and also additional free time um, So and, and additional training. So it'll be a really, uh, really great long weekend together. I know I'm excited. <laughs> I know I'm excited about it. All right. Do you want to move on to um, what our Friday mornings will look like? Yeah. So um, each week we're going to have a different uh, teaching segment. So there will be like a topic of the week that we'll focus upon. We'll then do a little bit of um, individual coaching. And to clarify that, Andre, I know our mentorship was really focused on um, the thought, the thought uh, model and really focus on that. And this is going to be kind of a mixture correct of both thought, a little bit of thought model flowing in and also a little bit of just like hey have you have you done these two things is that correct yeah yeah it'll, yeah, yeah. it'll be both ends so you know the thought model is super super powerful so so much of the time it is just our, our mind right that's keeping us back from things if we look at things a little bit different way we can break through yep so yeah, and then so we'll that also we'll also announce the winners from the previous week um who completed that that task and commented in the the brand partner group and then we'll also announce the next week's question at the end of each each week i would just i would just also encourage everyone to go into the brand partners group at your earliest convenience and go to the events tab we've listed out all the friday morning calls if you are svp going facebook's going to give you a reminder as well and that's just a really good way for you to kind of get that notification reminder every week that this is happening um we we intentionally um, gave you the topics for each week, not so that you could like pick and choose which ones were your favorites, um, but so that you, they can't, it keeps us accountable as leadership, but it also helps you know kind of what's to come as well. And we're looking for um, you to really shine in some, in some places uh, that maybe have been, you know, struggle areas before, or maybe you've overcome some things and you're willing to share and be coached on on particular topics as well. So that'll kind of unfold, I think, as the as the weeks progress. Awesome. Thanks, so Sam. let's let's take a look at. Well, I want to really quickly. We didn't do this at the beginning. 
wanted to show y'all. Can you Here. just read those first names? Let's so talk excited. about who's signed up for the sizzle. Yeah, so we've got Stephanie Horner, Felicia Martin, Leanna Carrillo, Cassie Rathbun, Jessica Pearson, Charlene Woods, Denise Reynolds, Shannon Waldron, Rachel Cartier, uh, Shauna Allred, Sheila Johnson, Linza Mudo, Lisa Vandenbush, Nicole Caro, Christina Lee, uh, or I always say Gritzla, uh, Jasmine Maines, Shayla Amber, Carrie O'Connor, uh, Michelle Phillips, Wendy Patton, Rachel Franks, Lucinda White, Chantal Poison, Nan Gillespie, Kathy Martin, uh, Beverly Lynch, Sarah Winston, Molly Gosnell, Susan Day, April Burson, Lydia Sergio, Jillian Shelton, Crystal Cook Matson, Jessica Alvarado, Jacqueline Graff, Carmelita Hassenritter, Carrie Lake, Sherry Smith, Lexis Chance, and Lauren Perso. And Aaron Lehman, Angela Lehman, and myself, Andrea Lehman. We, so, should start, we should start the third line over here, right? right? So now that people, as more people join go, in the next 24 hours. Line, go to the right, yes. Um, grab your oil, okay? Whatever you got sitting next to your desk or wherever you are. I'm doing a little into the future this morning. What do you got there, Ange? Abundance, it's always here. Abundance, all right. What else, okay, what do you got there, Sherry? What do you have, unmute yourself. I have um, dream catcher and abundance. All right. And I'm Love just so excited. Lucinda believe, Lucinda's got one of my favorites. Believe it. I mm, love that one. I'm scrolling through because I can't see all your faces at once. All right. Awesome. So we're going to take a quick look at, I'm going to pull something else up here. This is um, a guidebook that y'all are going to can i do it from a pdf on instead of yeah, yeah, please. Okay. i got you girl thank you um go ahead um so this is coming out to you as a pdf um and it's an opportunity it's a guidebook that's exclusive to you as a summer sizzle participant so you can download it like i did to a pdf like this um, and then you can access the links that are in it, um, like I'm going to show you um, as we go through it. But Andrea, I know you want to go through, because um, somebody was asking earlier. Sorry, I'm ha I'm on the tail end of something really bad. So we're not... We're really happy you're here, Anne. We didn't know if Anne was going to be able to make it this morning, but she's here. She is... You you appear to be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, even if you're not feeling 100%. <laughs> this part of my scalp doesn't hurt today, so that's good. This part, it's kind of like Shauna says, focus on your nose. It's this part of my scalp that doesn't hurt right now. So yay for that. Okay, so Andrea, just go yep. ahead with this part. I got it, I got it. Sneeze away, girl. All right, so we, um, if you were part of Milestone Mentorship, um, just recently, or if you were part of um, Refresh and Grow last fall, you know that we had daily tasks. We intentionally pared down the daily tasks for the summer sizzle. I want to make sure that you understand that this does not mean, let me say this, this does not mean don't show up on social media. You should still show up on social media, all right? For your business, you should still show up on social media. We just took it away from the daily tasks because we know we have some people who are not on social media. And so we wanted to make sure that the tasks could fit anybody who was doing the summer sizzle um, and that it would make sense for them. We do absolutely still encourage you to show up on social media. So if you are on social media and you want to like up it and say like, okay, my daily tasks are these three things and this one other thing, we highly encourage you to do that, all right? But here we go. So your daily tasks for Summer Sizzle are to connect with three new people, all right? That can be online or that can be in person when you're grocery shopping or when you're going to your, I guess you won't be going to your child's school because it's summer, but wherever you are out and about, you're on vacation and you're connecting to whatever, connecting with three new people a day um, that gets you the point for that. And the reason for that is we are a business of people, right? And so you have your warm market, okay? You have people that you've known for a long time, but once you go through all of those people, if you're not connecting with and meeting new acquaintances, you are going to run out of people to talk to. 
So by continuing to connect with new people, you keep that pipeline open, all right, for your business. So this is not you have to meet three people and talk to them about Young Living. That's not what it is. It is just about connecting with three new people. If Young Living comes up, if they present a need and it feels right to share that, then absolutely, you're going to share that then. But that's not, most of the time, that's not going to be the case. You're just going to be making connections with people, okay? The next piece is where you do bring Young Living into it. And it may be with one of those new people, or it may be with your current warm market, people you've already talked to or people that you haven't talked to yet in your warm market, all right? And this is making an offer. It could be inviting to a class. It could be to watch a video on something. It could be to make a purchase. Maybe it's somebody, I just followed up with somebody yesterday who was going to make a purchase and hadn't yet, okay? So I put that offer out to them, again, with a little you know incentive for making that purchase. All right, um, so any sort of offer, you're just guiding them to the next step, a step closer to joining Young Living would be making an offer, okay? And then the third daily task is to follow up with one person, okay? This is preferably a prospect, all right? So somebody who hasn't yet created an account and you're following up with them because they've shown interest in the past, all right? So to repeat, you're connecting with three people a day. You're making an offer of, of any kind to somebody and you're following up with one person, preferably a prospect daily, all right? So those are your daily tasks. And you're going to get points for doing those as well as some other things. So let's look at how points are earned this summer over the next two months. So for each enrollment of 100 PV, you're going to get three points. All right. And obviously, we know that the best way to enroll somebody is on loyalty rewards. So we're encouraging you enroll on loyalty rewards. I always tell people when they enroll, you're going to want to do loyalty rewards because you're gonna get extra points. And in month two, you're gonna get a free diffuser. It just makes sense, okay? Points, an oil or whatever the 100 PV item is of the month, free diffuser next month. Then you, I tell them, then you can decide after month two if you want to continue, all right? But it's a no brainer to do it the first two months. And I will tell you what, 90% of people when, when presented that way with it, will do it. All right, there will be the 10 person who's like, no, 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 I just don't wanna do it. 90% will say yes. So make sure you're presenting it in a way of like, you're gonna to wanna to do this, all right? All right, so three points for enrollment, three points for offering the brand partner opportunity to a new enrollment. And this can look like, hey, I have no idea if you'll be interested in the brand partner opportunity where you can make some income with Young Living, but if I sent you a little video or if I gave you a little booklet or if I shared a little bit of information with you, would you want to take a look at it? Or if I set up a time for you to chat with the person who enrolled me or, you know, my, my mentor, would you want to chat? It can be anything. I don't know if you'd ever be interested in the brand partner opportunity, but if I would you, if I gave you this to look at, if I would you, we're going to go more into this. Um, I think it's next week actually. Um, but I just wanted to give you some phrasing right now because Week one starts right now, all right? So just by offering it to them, you're gonna get three points. And this one is 100% honor system because we don't know whether you did or not, right? So you know whether you did or not. So you're gonna give yourself the point on each enrollment if you did that, all right? So each enrollment is worth six points if you do both things. You enroll with 100 and you offer the brand partner opportunity. Okay, number five. You're gonna get five points each month, okay, for the month, if you did at least 15 days of your daily method of operation in that month, all right? So at least half of the days in the month, you did your DMOs, all three of them, you're gonna get five points for the month. Um, okay, the fourth one, you're gonna get five points for each, up to a max of two, and I'll explain why we did that, but so, possibly a total of 10 points for the month if you host or attend an in-person event with at least one of your own personal prospects, somebody who has not yet created an account. So let me say that again. 
you can host an event, any sort of gathering. Maybe it's a coffee shop gathering where you're inviting people to come and learn about the products as they grab a coffee and you're sitting around a table and you're sharing about the oils or Ningxia or whatever you're sharing about. Or maybe you have a kitchen table gathering at your house where you invite people and, and same thing. You're just sharing about the products around the kitchen table. Or maybe you decide to do a class on skincare and you're inviting everybody over into your living room. Or you are doing a vendor event. Okay, a vendor event would count. Um, anything that is in person. And this is why we did this for two reasons. We got out of the habit of meeting together because of dang COVID four years ago and have never quite gotten back to it in its full glory. All right. So that's reason one. Reason two is that Young Living has told us very, very um, in numbers that the people who are meeting together in person are the people who are growing the fastest. All right. Not that there isn't a place for online. There absolutely is. And some of, a lot of us are enrolling people online, but in person is where it is at for faster growth at the moment. Okay. Um, so that's that. And uh, let's see. So, okay. So two max. And the reason we're capping this is because we know that some of you are completely free. You can have a class whenever you want to. And some of you are tied down by those little critter monsters known as children. And it may be a stretch for you to even be able to get out and do two classes in person a month. You can do all the online stuff you want, but in person is a little more challenging. So we wanted to just even the playing fields in this way a little bit. So you can get up to 10 points for hosting or attending as long as you have one prospect in tow, okay? And I'll just put this out there for those who are in Arizona. A reminder, I have one June 15th at my house. You bring prospects, it's a it's an oils, an intro to oils class, bring prospects and that would count. And a All reminder right. that I have one on Tuesday night. Yeah, one on Tuesday. Gaining, gaining the fitness edge here at my house in Peoria. All right. Um, and the other thing I want to say about that is it doesn't have to be a big class, guys. Don't get all caught up like, oh, my gosh, I've never hosted a class before. And now I'm asked to host an in-person class. You have one or two people coming together at a coffee shop. It's a class. All right. Our main purpose of this is just to encourage us all to get back in person. Small steps. Back in person. Back in person. Okay. Um, let's see. And then seven points for any personal rank advancements. Um, and seven points for any personally enrolled rank advancements. So if you personally enrolled a person and they rank advance, you're going to get the seven points. If you have your own personal rank advancement, you're going to get the seven points. The only caveat to this is for somebody themselves to get that personal rank advancement, they need to have some skin in the game. Like you couldn't have just had people placed on your team and have that count as a rank advancement. So you, in the same month, you at least need to have your own enrollment for that to count as your own personal rank advancement. Does that make sense? You have to do some of the work for it to count for you. All right. And then the big, wait, just a second. I want to point this out at the bottom there. This is super important because there was a handful of people last um, time we did this, Refresh and Grow, who missed the retreat because they didn't have three enrollments. We feel that to, to earn a spot on a retreat that is worth, you know, quite a bit of money, that a minimum requirement should be three enrollments over the course of two months to qualify. So know this, if you get three or four enrollments of 100 PV over the next two months, your chances are probably, and you do these other things, your chances are probably very good of earning a spot on the retreat, a three-day retreat in Carlsbad. Food covered, lodging covered, um, all kinds of training, free time, good times. All right, uh, community, awesome. We have so much fun. So that's that. But know that if you do all of the other things, but you only have two enrollments of 100 PV, you didn't you didn't quite make the the minimum requirement to earn a spot. All right, all right, all right. Are there questions? I just want to make sure we don't need clarity on that. Did I? you can come, you can unmute yourself if you have a question on, on either the daily tasks or how to earn points and need clarification. And Andrea, do re-ranks count? You know what? Did we put that in, we talked about that. Did we put that in the fine print? 
Yes, we will count a re-rank. So whatever your rank is um, this month, so May, end of May, if you rank up above what you were in May, yes, that will count for one of your rank ups. Yes. Thank you. I think we, I think we had decided that, but we didn't put that in the fine print. So yes, a re-rank will count. All right. I have um, a quick question uh, yes. on, on the make an offer. Is that just for prospects making an offer too, or was it also people on your team? No, it can't. We just said, perf oh, making an offer. Um, the making an offer can be any anything where you are moving somebody along in the process. So it could be to a um, customer who's not on loyal to rewards. Hey, would you look at this info on loyal to rewards? And you know, I'm all people who sign up on loyal to rewards this month. I'm putting them in a drawing for a free, you know, whatever. It could be anything where you're moving somebody along in the process. Um, obviously, we want to enroll people, right? So. So definitely some of those offers, those daily offers should be to a prospect to, to come to something or to watch something or whatever, but it can, that one can be both and, and the follow-up can be both and, but I want everybody to kind of like take inventory of what they're doing currently in their businesses to move things along. It's safer, obviously, to just do it with your current team. But if we're choosing to grow, we're choosing to enroll, we want to make sure that sometimes these are to prospects too. So good clarifying question uh, on that, Sterling. Any other questions or clarity needed? That was great wait time, Andrea. I'm really impressed. I'm, a, I'm an ex-teacher, <laughs> you know. Okay. Um, all right. Let's see what we got here. I think I'm next. Are you next? Okay, awesome. Yeah. So um, we went ahead and gave you a tracker for your um, daily mode of operation. That's what DMO stands for, daily method of operation, daily mode of operation. So you can um, print this out and we try, I'm a print geek. So we tried to make the guidebook really simple so that you could print like these two pages go back to back so that you don't have to print more than you need, right? And you obviously do not need to print the first page because it's a lot of color. <laughs> so, okay, can't laugh apparently. Um, moving on, tracker is here for June and July uh, for you to utilize. Um, and then we also gave you a, a version, a slim down version of what you can find in the Life Steps app because we know not everyone has access to that. Um, about how to host an event. So if you really are kind of like, I want to do this, but I don't even know where to start. This is a how to host an event worksheet. So this gives you some tips for what to, uh, how to kind of select the event that you're going to host, who you might invite, what kind of class you might choose to do. Um, we just wanted to give you sort of a, a two page guide on um, setting up the event and then what to do during the event and then how to handle things after the event and how to kind of get yourself back in the, in the swing of things. If, if you haven't done a class in a while, it may be good to review these steps because we find that they're really um, basic things that we sometimes overlook as we gather people. And I think the more intentionally we gather around a topic um, or a, um, something that we have in common, um, that brings people together. So definitely take a look at that. That's one of our gifts to you. And then this is our biggest gift to you. Um, nobody else has access to this. Um, and uh, our assistant, Erin, worked really hard to make sure that we gave you lots of options. So under each of these classes, so an intro to oils, a breath feelings, oils and meditation, business presentation, oils of scripture, make a shift, 14 day reset, babies, kids and oils, love your skin, and a make a shift essential solutions, which just goes over the smaller make a shift um, eat oils kit, we've given you a PDF that you can click on and it'll open in the brand partner resources. So you can download the PDF um, to your computer or to your phone and then just slip through the presentation. This is our intro to oils class that we've we can't see been... it. We can't see oh, it. Oh, it went to the wrong thing. Hold on just a second. So I clicked on it and it went over to here in our brand partner resources. 
And our whole presentation is right here for you to, to use at your convenience. Simple, right? That's the simplest way is to use the PDF. For those of you who are Canva users and are more uh, graphic savvy, we wanted to make sure that you had um, flexibility and, um, excuse me. Oh, I'm on the wrong. Wait, why didn't that show up? Hmm, that's weird. Oh, we'll go back here. Does it look weird to you? Is it? No, it looks good. You, you, it looks good. Are you, you seeing a good. PDF again? Yep, okay. Yep, yep. So those of you who are graphic savvy, you can use a Canva template and change things that you don't like. Your, your call, we gave you the template. So you wanna change a word that we said differently or you wanna add in an oil that we didn't include in a presentation, you can do that through the template. Those of you also who are Canva savvy and wanna just pull it up on your phone, like I was literally sitting in a coffee shop a couple of weeks ago with a reactivation and I just pulled up a Canva file about uh, on our hormones class, and I just um, used the, the link to just walk her through a couple of the reasons why she might want to use Progestins Plus. Does that make sense? So again, I'm pretty, I'm pretty tech savvy, so I know some of you are as well. So this is what's called a public view link. So if you click on that, it goes to Canva, and it makes it really simple for you to click through just on, on Wi-Fi. As long as you have internet, you can click through those. And then if you do need notes, we have um, a couple of presentations that has have the notes included so that you can have a script sort of to base your, um, base your presentation on. But really what matters the most is you just getting oils, giving people an experience with the oils, with the supplements, with the Ningxia, um, whatever the products are that you're going to focus on, um, really giving people a chance to hear your story and to find out if those things would meet their needs um, and really serve them well. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that 10? At least eight. I'm not counting right. Eight um, presentations that you have at your fingertips. Um, of course, those of you who are subscribers to Life Steps app also have all of their, um, their classes as well, but we didn't want that to have to hold you back. So we wanted to give you uh, access to what we have. And if you need anything else, let us know. The one part I wanted to end on today, come on body, you can do this, um, is the business plan checklist is part of our power start. And we've been teaching this for 10 years. What really changed our business was in 2012, when we, 2014, when we decided in 2012 and 2014, we decided to start helping people dream bigger. And my mom was really, really good at this because she said, we can't limit ourselves just based on our circumstances. Who would we be? Where would we be? What would we do if money was not an object? And I got to visit Tracy Campbell's farm in Cornville, Arizona um, in a at the beginning of April, I think, maybe beginning of May. Anyway, all the months run together at this point. And one of the things Tracy said to me is, that conversation about why I wanted to grow a young living business is what's led me to TLC Sanctuary, which is a rescue sanctuary for horses and a pig and goats and some minis and um, some beautiful um, uh, 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 chickens and, and a beautiful peacock named Penn. And the, the thing that I love the most about that story is that she began with her why. It doesn't have to mean that it's going to happen tomorrow or even this year, but what is fueling your decision to get up and move the needle on your business each and every day? If it's just the retreat, great. Write that down on this worksheet for yourself. If it's something bigger, if it's a monetary goal of getting your products paid for and ordering at the top of the tier every month, 100, 200, or 300, make sure you check uh uh, Facebook for all the latest updates on that starting June 1. Um, but if you want to be able to exceed um, your, your paying for your product obsession and you want to start, um, maybe you have a dream of helping uh, kind of help your family with bills or you want to see more um, vacation fund 
um, or more month at the end of the money, right? That there's not this um, sort of panic of living paycheck to paycheck. Write it out, dream of what it could be and give yourself time to really grow into the person who can make that dream happen. And so these were some of our kind of basic guidelines and principles. Make sure you're in our brand partners Facebook group. Make sure you've read, read or at least are familiar with these authors and books. Um, make sure that you're listening to positive mindset podcasts daily um, or notes uh, or um, uh, different things that are fueling your brain for positivity because it doesn't take long for our, our brains to go to mush and be negative. So really pushing ourselves beyond there. And then begin to set your first goals for June. Scheduling three classes within the first 30 days. So pushing yourself, right? If the minimum, if the maximum is two, schedule three, knowing that one may not work out, then you then you fall back on your two. What are the dates of those? How much are you going to earn in your first 30 days just based on fast start bonus? It's been really important to me in 2024 to earn fast start bonus every single month. And so um, last week I told Aaron and Andrea, I'm like, guys, I just don't know if it's going to happen this month. May has just been crazy. And I, and uh, the hummingbird comes right to my window as I'm telling you this. And I said, I said, I just don't, I just don't see it happening. Like I haven't really gotten out to prospect and I've been busy and my son graduates from high school and, you know, it's just, gosh, I don't even know. And literally at graduation party, um, one of my son's friend's moms who's asked about oils in the past said, I am really serious about oils when, I, when I'm when i asking you this right now. And I said, we're at a graduation party. Are you really serious? She signed up. So I got to sign up this month. My fast start bonus is intact. So my point is you got to just, you got to put that out there each and every day, each and every month so that it becomes reality. And are you do, are you staying plugged in orientation wise, knowing where things are, knowing how to find things, RSVP into events, making sure you're in the know, you're bringing people to the team events, you're, you're connecting with each other. Um, and and uh, I know we, we I, I made a post last week and Aaron, maybe you were going to speak to this about accountability, um, but that is huge. Guys, my milestone mentorship group, shout out to you all for um, continuing the, the fervor that you started um, back with us in February, um, because you're still continuing to connect and chat and be accountable to one another. And I know some of the rest of you are having that same experience in your milestone mentorship as well. By the way, it was Nan in my milestone mentorship group. Um, I don't claim ownership of anything. This is LWN. Yay, we're all doing it together. But my point is, we do it together. So find somebody, go to my matchmaking post and find somebody who's whose bio sort of resonates with you. Lisa likes long walks on the beach. Maybe you do too. And you'd be interested to talk with her more about what that could look like for both of you when you're in Carlsbad in September, right? That's the kind of thing that you are trying, you're choosing to generate as you say yes to the summer sizzle and as you say yes to your business and yourself. Awesome. All right. Wow. Aaron. Go Ange. Yeah. Good. Well, I'll just add on, on top of the accountability piece she just mentioned, I just posted it in the, in the comments in our little chat box. So if you haven't commented yet on the accountability post in the brand partners group, it's there, click on it and go comment and find, find your accountability partner. Um, Denise Reynolds and I have added in an additional um, work session. So anybody who just benefits from popping on zoom and doing the tasks together or like side by side. Um, we, we both said we're not, it, it's not going to be much chatting. It's just going to be mainly like getting on zoom together and doing the DMOs, rocking the tasks because um, some of us benefit from having somebody in the room with me <laughs> and just being on, on, on the same page. So um, if, yeah, if that excites you, that's going to be Thursdays. And I think we wrote down Thursdays at 3 p.m. Arizona, California time, which would be 6 p.m. East Coast time. So, um, yeah, that's that's the window that we picked is uh, Thursdays at 3. All right, Don. Awesome. Okay, so we... Uh... Andrea, clarify before you end, because you're going to kick this out of the park, I know. Knock this out of the park. I have weird words right now. Um, Sorry. We're clarifying 
that most Friday calls will be 7 to 7.30. They are all going to be, so, right? They are all going to be ending at 7.30. So they will be 30-minute calls going yeah. forward. This Today, yeah. we needed some extra time to give you all the details, but we will not need that in the future. So please plan accordingly. And, and also on that, we decided not to do this separate from our 7 a.m. beginning of month calls. So know that those calls, like it's everybody and they'll just benefit from getting some of the summer sizzle stuff. And we also don't care if people pop up on any of the others. That's fine. If you have people who aren't like officially doing the summer sizzle, but they want to get the content on Fridays, bring them on. That's great. Not no problem there. All right. I know we threw a lot of things at you in the last 50 minutes. So I wrote them all down. And kind of gave, uh, this is like, a, okay, here's what to do today. Here's what to do tomorrow. Okay. So um, I'm just going to go through them. If you don't have all these things written down, maybe you want to just jot them down. So you have your little checklist too. All right. So these are things I would do today. I would get on your calendar, your classes for June, because June starts tomorrow. <laughs> so if you're going to host classes, figure out where can you host the classes. If you're going to be bringing you know, a prospect or two, two different classes, figure out where are those, who's hosting things that I can bring something to. All right. Um, and if you want to share it, like in the brand partner group, if you're hosting something and you're fine with other people, if you're, you know, you're local to them, you're fine with them bringing people to it. You can put that in the brand partners group. Hey, for those in summer sizzle, I have these things going on in June, if you want to bring prospects, go for it. You know, we can do that kind of communication within the group too. All right. So get your things booked. Okay. The second thing I would do is what Ange mentioned earlier, go into the brand partners group, go to events in the brand partners, LW and brand partners group, and just click going on all of those Friday morning calls so that you get those reminders of those events. Okay. It's the second thing I would do today. The third thing I would do is if you are going to be, if you want to be on the Thursday morning, not Thursday morning, the Thursday afternoon um, calls with Aaron, that Aaron and Denise are leading where you're just kind of working together, put those all in your calendar right now too. And sorry, Aaron, I was writing stuff down as you were talking about it. The time and the location for that again is? LWN Zoom Room. Okay, LWN. Three, three to 4 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time and then 6 p.m. Eastern. Okay. Start. So this room, this Zoom room, mm -hmm. 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern, every Thursday going forward, except yeah. I'm guessing for convention week. Correct. Okay. All right. So that's that. Um, and then here's the other things I would do today. I would print the guide. We're going to get uh, this morning after this call, we're going to get a message put together sent out. You'll get it today sometime, I promise. I don't know exactly when because we're going to have our assistant Erin send it out. So it's when she can get it done. But you're going to get um, a text, a PB text from us today that will have that guidebook in it. If you didn't already grab that link, um, it will have the replay of this if you want to go back and re-listen to it. And it's going to have something else in it. Oh, it's going to have that link for um, signing up for a strategy session with one of the five of us, Nan, Ange, McKay, or Casey. All right. So that will all be in there. So you're gonna to wanna to print the guide for you so you're ready tomorrow. Um, and then uh, accountability. So Aaron put the link to that post in this thread here. If you look at the chat, Aaron put the link to that Facebook post with people who have said, hey, I want you know accountability partner, accountability partner. Just reach out to people. It's fine if you have three or four people in an accountability group. So don't worry about like, oh, I don't know if they already have an accountability partner. Just reach out to somebody and say, hey, you want an accountability partner? Um, I guarantee only about 20% of the people will do that. And those will be the people really thriving because we do better in community. We do better with accountability. All right. Uh, and then starting tomorrow, begin your DMOs, okay, which is in that guidebook. And it has where you can actually write down for each day. So, you know, and to be able to get the points, you need to be keeping track like that. All right. Because you need to be able to count and say, okay, well, how many did I actually do this month? If you don't have that written down, then you don't really get the points for it. Um, so make sure you print that and start that tomorrow. And then the second thing to be aware of tomorrow is that the challenge starts for the three Valor. So that's, it's really easy. We want to make it easy this week. It's just about doing the DMOs, getting in the habit of doing the DMOs. So if you have five out of the seven days done, um, then you'll be good, which I didn't really think that three, it doesn't start until tomorrow. It won't, it won't matter in the following weeks, but because today didn't actually start, you can't really do DMOs today. So it's doing five out of six days, right? 
So it would be like doing your DMO Saturday, maybe taking a break on Sunday and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, doing the DMOs to be able to, to get in for one of the ballers. Does that make sense? Because we, you can't do DMOs today. It hasn't started yet. All right. Um, I think that's it. Okay, let's just open it up now for any questions to clarify anything. But other than that, if you're good to go, you can hop off the call. Thanks for hanging with us for an hour this morning. <laughs> but any clarifying questions? Andrea? Yes. Hi, sorry. I have kind of been disconnected. So is it the same DMOs as the milestone mentorship thing? So it's just the three things I went over, which was connect with three people. Um, following up with one person a day. Following up with somebody and making an offer of some kind. So it's those three things. So it's it's basically the same, but we didn't put the social media piece on it just because we know there was there was going to be some people who aren't on social media. We're okay. still encouraged to do the social media things, but to get your points for the DMO, it just has to be those three things. Those three things. Okay, got it. People making an offer, following up. Yeah. Okay. And I don't think I paid you. I don't know why that just like somebody, I saw the comment and somebody that didn't, I don't think I paid. How can I, is um, it just through? Through Venmo or through Zelle? I, I know I need to go back through the list. I did it early on. I need to go back through and see who still, if there's anybody who still needs to pay. And it but was 37? 37. It's through Venmo. Um, Just if you do Andrea at Andrea dash layman. You should be able to find me that way. Any other questions? Yeah, Andrea, can you hear me? Does Carrie Go offering training on Mondays at four o'clock Arizona time still? Um, not related to this, but I think she is still doing that. Um, Carrie, I don't know if she's on still. I don't see her. I don't That's know either. Yeah, it's not officially part of Summer Sizzle. You'd have to check in with her about that. Um, that okay, thank you. Who Hello, else? Andrea? Yes, Carmelita. Um, so it, it, will any online classes call, uh, count rather than a face-to-face -face being that we're kind of isolated over here and it, don't have a vehicle and it have prospects and so on, will that count? It has to be face to face for those extra points. So, but okay. remember, just meeting up with one person can count. It doesn't have to be like okay. a class. Are you okay. under the weather? Your voice? Yeah. I'm recovering. Yeah. Okay. Well, sending you healing, love, prayers. A lot of people right now. All right. Um, any other questions? All right, so we're all good? Got all the details? Okay, fantastic. All right, guys. Um, yeah, expect a, a text from us. And you will be getting texts from that number. So just keep that, maybe just put Andrea's project broadcast. We'll, sometimes we send things from Living Well Now, but since I started already sending to your group from that and it's already done, we're, we're just gonna send it from me. Um, but that's my project broadcast number. Don't try to text me at that number because I have to go into the app to see those texts. It gets confusing, I know. Um, but that will be where information will come from. But if you want to get a hold of us, get a hold of us on Facebook or if you have our other text number, you can text us there. All right. Have a great day, guys. Great weekend. Thanks, and, y'all. Uh, really glad you're here. Thanks, friends.